Pain after spine surgery. What is it, what is that? And what's it like? And how bad is it? Well, two types of surgeries, right? Cervical, and as you know, I like disc replacements. So we're going to talk about that. When I go through the front of your neck, as you know, I've had three through the front. It's pretty well painless, the incision here. You're tender. You have a little sore throat, sticky swallowing. Nothing you would need a pain pill for. Where you are sore, believe it or not, is the muscles in the back of the neck and the traps because we stretch up your discs because they've collapsed down and it makes the ligament stretch in the back. So actually patients complain about two to three weeks of being achy and sore in the neck. I tell them, hey, this will be your last neck ache. Don't worry. And that goes away and they recover and they're out of pain. It's a very easy surgery to recover from is cervical disc replacement. On that same topic, I'm gonna to talk about lumbar surgery or low back surgery, very different. So let's talk specifically about lumbar artificial disc replacement. If I'm doing one or two artificial discs, I do them in the outpatient center. I rarely do them unless you're from out of town and need to stay in the hospital. We do them in the surgery center. We go through the abdomen, but we go around and we don't cut any muscle. So it's really not very painful. Your stomach's tender and sore. And then we replace your discs deep in the spine. Your back is achy, but we get you up and walk you and you're gonna leave that surgery center in four to six hours walking out. And you're gonna be achy, but it's not anything that a simple pain pill won't take care of. So usually the first four or five days are the worst. And after that, it tapers off. I hope that answers your question. Thanks.